Come, let us worship Christ, who for our sake suffered death and was buried. Have mercy and hear me, 
Oh men, how long will your hearts be closed? Will you love what is futile and seek what is false? It is the Lord who grants favor to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me whenever I call him. Fear him to not sin. Ponder on your bed and be still. Make justice your sacrifice and trust in the Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say. Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have put into my heart a greater joy than they have from abundance of corn and new wine. I will lie down in peace and sleep comes at once. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. My body shall rest in hope. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I do further offerings of love. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O oh Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The Lord mark out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls for me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my side. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand happiness forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lift high the ancient portals, the King of glory enters. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the sea, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord the mighty, the valiant, the Lord the valiant in war. O gates, lift higher your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sorry. 
rescue me. Be true to your word, give me life. From the letter to the Hebrews. While the promise of entrance into his rest still holds, we ought to be fearful of disobeying, lest any one of you be judged to have lost his chance of entering. You have indeed heard the good news, as they did, but the word which they heard did not profit them, for they did not receive it in faith. It is we who have believed who enter into that rest, just as God said, Thus I swore in my anger, they shall never enter into my rest. Yet God's work was finished when he created the world. For in reverence to the seventh day scriptures, somewhere says, And God rested from all his work on the seventh day. And again, in the place we have revered to, God says, They shall never enter into my rest. Therefore, since it remains for some to enter, and those to whom it was first announced did not, because of unbelief, God once more set a day, today, when long afterward he spoke through David the words we have quoted. Today, if you should hear his voice, harden not your heart. Now, if Joshua had led them into the place of rest, God would not have spoken afterward of another day. Therefore, a Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God. And he who enters into God's rest, rests from his own work as God did from his. Let us strive to enter into that rest, so that no one may fall in imitation of the example of Israel's unbelief. Indeed, God's word is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword. It penetrates and divides soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Nothing, in, nothing is concealed from him. All lies bare and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. soldiers there to guard it. To the chief priest that's pilot for a guard. They station soldiers there to guard it. From an ancient homily on Holy Saturday, something strange is happening. There is a great silence on earth today a great silence and stillness. The whole earth keeps silence because the king is asleep. The earth trembled and is still because God has fallen asleep in the flesh and he has raised up all who have slept ever since the world began. God has died in the flesh and hell trembles with fear. He has gone to search for our first parent, as for a lost ship. Greatly desiring to visit those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, he has gone to free from sorrow the captives Adam and Eve, he who is both God and the son of Eve. The Lord approached them bearing the cross, the weapon, that had won him the victory. At the sight of him, Adam, the first man he had created, struck his breast in terror and cried out to everyone, My Lord be with you all. Christ answered him, and with your spirit. He took him by the hand and raised him up, saying, 
Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. I am your God, who for your sake have become your son. Out of love for you and for your descendants, I now, by my own authority, command all who are held in bondage to come forth, all who are in darkness to be enlightened, all who are sleeping to arise. I order you, O sleeper, to awake. I did not create you to be held a prisoner in hell. Rise from the dead, for I am the life of the dead. Rise up, work of my hands, you who were created in my image. Rise, let us leave this place, for you are in me and I am in you. Together, we form only one person, and we cannot be separated. For your sake, I, your God, became your son. I, the Lord, took the form of a slave. I, whose home is above the heavens, descended to the earth and beneath the earth. For your sake, for the sake of man, I become like a man without help, free among the dead. For the sake of you who left a garden, I was betrayed to the Jews in a garden, and I was crucified in a garden. See on my face the spittle I receive in order to restore to you the life I once breathed into you. See there the marks of the blows I receive in order to refashion your warped nature in my image. On my back, see the marks of the scourging I endured to remove the burden of the sin that weighs upon your back. See my hands nailed fir firmly to a tree for you who once wickedly Stretch out your hand to a tree. I slept on the cross, and a sword pierced my side. For you, who slept in paradise, and brought forth Eve from your side, my side has healed the pain in yours. My sleep will rouse you from your sleep in hell. The sword that pierced me has sheathed the sword that was turned against you. Rise, let us leave this place. The enemy let you out of the earthly paradise. I will not restore you to that paradise, but I will enthrone you in heaven. I forbid you the tree that was only a symbol of life. But see, I who am life itself am now one with you. I appointed cherubim to guard you, as slaves are guarded, but now I make them worship you as God. The throne formed by cherubim awaits you, its bearers swift and eager. The bridal chamber is adorned, the banquet is ready. The eternal dwelling places are prepared. The treasure houses of all good things lie open. The kingdom of heaven has been prepared for you from all eternity. A shepherd, the source of water of life has died. The sun was working. This is the day when our Savior broke through the gates of death. He has destroyed the barricades of hell, overthrown the sovereignty of the dead. This is the day when our Savior broke through the gates of death.
sinless, the Lord has put, been put to death. The world is in mourning as for an only son. of the nether world I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow man among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out unto the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries, I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction. When you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks. As I do today, others declare to their sons, O oh God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior, 
We show strings of string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. I was there, but now I live forever, and I hold the keys of death and of hell. Praise God in His holy place, praise Him in His mighty heaven. Praise Him for His powerful deeds. Praise His surpassing greatness. Oh, praise Him with sound of trumpet. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with flashing of symbols. Let everything that leaves and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. From the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, In their affliction they shall look for me. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear. Holy and righteous in His sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before. 
for the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Save us, o Savior of the world. On the, On the cross, cross you redeemed us by the shedding of your blood. We, we cry out for your help, O God. Our Redeemer suffered and was buried for us in order to rise again. With sincere love, we adore him, and aware of our needs, we cry out, Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. Christ our Savior, your sorrowing mother stood by you at your death and burial. In our sorrows, may we share your suffering, we pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. Christ our Lord, like the seed buried in the ground, you brought forth for us the harvest of grace. May we die to sin and live for God, we pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ the Good Shepherd, in death you lay hidden from the world. Teach us to love a life hidden with you in the Father, we pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ the new Adam, you entered the kingdom of death to release all the just since the beginning of the world. May all who lie dead in sin hear your voice and rise to life. We pray. Lord, have mercy on us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those for whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our missions and for our brothers and ministry at Indonesia, Sri Lanka, General Santos and Davao, Kamigin and Kalayan. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, Son of the living God, through baptism, we were buried with you. Risen also with you in baptism, may we walk in newness of life. We pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us now pray in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All powerful and ever living God, your only Son went down among the dead and rose again in glory. In your goodness, raise up your faithful people, buried with them in baptism, to be one with them in the eternal life of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.